Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Average Joe's 3D. Today I'd like to go over five tips that you can use with your Eagle Mars to help your prints be just a little bit more successful. Alright, so this is a 7R print from last night. Let's go ahead and take a look at it. There we go. Now, the first tip is multiple parts. As you can see, I actually have three parts, right? So I have this part, which is a caster. I have this guy playing the, whatever he's playing. And I have uh, this part here. Um, they overlap each other. As you can see, this one is overlapped by this one, but your supports will take that into account. And you can successfully print as many prints as you can fit on there without the supports getting in the way. Because the great thing about these, or one print or three prints, you're going to print at the same amount of time, depending on the height. Now, as you can see, I have a ton of supports. The more supports you can have, the better. Supports are really the, the life of a successful print because it gives the resin something to use as a base as it prints overhangs like this. So on the Cheeto box, when you use the auto setting to put in supports, always flip it underneath, flip it over, and add more supports, as many supports as you can. The great thing is more supports does not slow it down. It sprints just as fast with more supports, twice as many as it does with the recommended. So add supports everywhere you can. All right, so that was uh, tip number two. Tip number three, always try to print at an angle. All right, elevate it off the build plate. This is five millimeters. And as you can see, this guy's at a pretty good angle, usually 30 to 40 degrees. And that prevents the tug of war that happens between the build plate and the FEP plastic. Um, they press against each other as it's exposed. And sometimes... Your resin wants to stick to the plastic and not to the build plate. If you have a big flat part, such as this model, this base on this model, if I didn't print it at an angle like this, we would definitely get stuck on the plastic and not on my build plate. So always use a 30 to 40 degree angle to be more successful on uh, your prints. Now I'll show you something like this. Here we go. Which doesn't have a lot of surface here at the bottom. I printed this straight up, uh, not at an angle. It printed fine, but with a bigger base, if you don't print it at an angle, chances are it's definitely going to fail. So that was tip number three. Tip number four flat equals speed. Okay? This is a seven hour print. This was like a nine hour print because it was straight up and down. The flatter you can make it, the quicker it will go because it prints the whole thing a layer at a time. And so this might take an hour. That's going to take nine hours. So the flatter you can make your prints, the better. Last but not least, uh, when you're removing supports. Now look how many supports. Remember I said add more supports as you go. They've all got to come off. So I definitely recommend that after you put this through the wash. And I use uh, the green uh, detergent as the first wash. And then I use isopropyl alcohol and then a little bit of water. And then I remove the supports before I cure it. If you wait till after you cure it, you're going to get more marks. And it's going to be harder to remove. So... Let's go over the tips. As you can see, multiple parts. Three on this one. Number two, lots of supports. Number three, print at an angle to make sure that you have a successful print. Number four, the flatter you can make it, the quicker it's going to print. And last but not least, number five, make sure that you remove your supports before you cure it. Because once it's cured... It's going to be hard as a rock. It's going to be hard as your model. So let's not do that. All right. I hope I answered a lot of your questions. 
so you can be successful in printing. I know that I just started and I'm having a really great time with all the different options that this gives me that's better than my Ender 3. As always, uh, subscribe below. If you have any questions or any tips, be happy to answer those or um, include the tips on my next video. As always, thank you for watching and you have a great day.